from the Chocolate Mountains to the Sea of Cortez. All along the border on a Thursday night, this is exciting Imperial Valley football on VSNSports.net, the Valley Sports Network, and the source for Imperial Valley Sports. For John Moreno, this is Vic Carrillo at Burger Field here in beautiful Hopeville, California, as the Hopeville Vikings hosting the Imperial Tigers here on a Thursday evening due to the Imperial Valley referees officials shortage. And it's not only in the Imperial Valley, it's also throughout the state of California as everyone is experiencing uh, a shortage of manpower out here on the gridiron. But ladies and gentlemen, we'll have a great crew tonight. It'll be headed by head referee Fred Ramsey. He'll be joined by umpire Michael Garcia. His headlinesman will be Lloyd James. The line judge will be Randy Ross. And back judge will be Sal Boxer Carrillo. And with no further ado, we welcome the real deal, that master blaster, the voice of choice, your friend and mine, Johnny Moe, John Moreno Brown. Thank you, Vic. Here it is. Hoville, this used to be called or can still be called the Desert Classic, where these two teams have been playing since the early 1910s, Imperial Tigers and the Hoville Vikings. They were part of that old Chaparral League back, way back in the day where they played twice a year, and it was a storied rivalry tonight, the second game of the season. We're out here. It's a warm summer day, summer evening, and the Tigers came, coming off a tough loss last week, but but the uh, the Vikings coming off a win over Southwest. While you're talking about the Tigers losing last week in the closing seconds of their ball game, they had an early lead against West Hills, and West Hills tied the ball, tied them 7-7, starting out the third quarter. Imperial had an opportunity; they blocked a field goal attempt, but it was recovered by the uh, West Hills uh, offense inside their own 10-yard line, and they were able to punch it in. A long pass play from quarterback Jaden Ayala to Gio. Robles, that talented 6'5", 190-pound wide receiver, only a sophomore, got him inside the, the red zone, but time ran, ran out, and Imperial lost their, a heartbreaker in their season opener, 14-7. On the other side of the ball, jo, uh, John, the Hopeville Vikings opened up with a resounding 22-0 victory over the Southwest Eagles in, in El Centro, and so tonight... This game that traditionally used to be the last game of the season for both high schools, Central and Brawley had their bell game. Calexico had their game with Palo Verde in the old Imperial Valley League. And Imperial and Hopeville would always play for their Desert League Championship, Mountain Desert League Championship, or the Chaparral League, as you uh, prefaced your comments here in the opening uh, commentary of our pregame. So, John, tell us, what are the keys for tonight's success for both squads? Well, we have an injury on the Tigers. Uh, Gio Robles Robles um, had a torn, I think it's a torn ACL. He's in crutches. That's going to be a factor uh, for the Hoville offense, as he, but also the defense. They go, but he goes both ways. He's, he's a, a great athlete, plays basketball in the winter season, but that may be an, you know, an adjustment that the Tigers will have to make. Well, David, or David Shaw had, there was a quarterback duel over the summer between the junior quarterback, Jared, uh, Jaden Ayala, and the sophomore, Gio Robles. And, you know, the future bodes well for the Imperial Tigers because they have another outstanding receiver in Jared Nixon, who's 6'4", 185 pounds, and Robles, uh, along with J Jimmy Dorame, the running back, and so... They were going to have an explosive offense. And David Shaw, who's been in coaching for 25 years, Imperial High School is his alma mater, as it is for, for uh, Justin Turner, Jason Turner, excuse me, we'll talk about him. But last year, David Shaw led the Imperial Tigers to an 8-4 and four overall record, 8-4, and four, one loss record. They came in third place in the always tough IVL, Central winning it, Brawley coming in second, Imperial, the 
perennial bridesmaid. And then in overtime in the quarterfinals, they lost a heartbreaker to Bishop's High School at La Jolla High School that we had the opportunity to televise. Absolutely. And Jason Turner in his seventh season with the Hopeville Vikings has a storied program here that's been in contention for the Desert uh, League last several years. I know about two, three years ago they were on top and then all of a sudden Paula Verde moves in and it, it's caused uh, a, a big contention for first place in that league. Well, 22 seniors graduated last year and Hopeville raced out to a 3-0 record winning their first three games last season. Then they lost six consecutive games, all of them close, and then they closed out their season with a lopsided win over the Calipatria Hornets. And uh, this year, Jason Turner once again start, got, has the Vikings coming fast out of the gate. They won 22-0 last week against the Southwest Eagles. We'll have a, a, a good program getting underway well, under the man. direction of new coach Peter Blinko, who was a standout football player in the Imperial Valley and later played at Oregon. And uh, it bodes well for all high school athletics. You know, it's a full plate if you're an athletic director because not only do you have football to deal with at the three levels, freshman, JV, and varsity, but add girls flag, flag football to the mix. And uh, these referees are overtaxed. Right, and we see the captains going out to the game out to the middle of the field, Bryce Buscaglia, um, Smith, Hilficker, Furman, Velarde, and number 24, Griffin Garcia, who will probably be running the ball a lot for the Hoville Vikings. On the other side, we have number five for the uh, Tigers, Jaden Ayala. And I can't see the other numbers. Number nine, Ethan Reeves. And they're ready, getting ready to uh, flip the Flip the coin. Well, when you talked about Gavin Garcia, excuse me, um, Griffin Garcia. You know, Griffin Garcia scored the first two touchdowns of the game last week. He had a seven-yard TD run. He finished the game with 16 carries for 80 yards and two touchdowns. And he also recovered a fumble on defense from his linebacking position. So their defense for Hopeville held Southwest to 17 total yards in the first half as part of their shutout. And so in the fourth quarter, Hector Sanchez came through with a one-yard dive for a touchdown. And then a, a Busagia passed to Duke Strom for a two-point conversion, rounded out the final score 22-0. So we have the Hopeville marching band out on the field as Fred Ramsey says that Hopeville won the toss they'll receive. Imperial will be defending the Western goal. So John, your take on starting these games in the early summer, I mean the late summer, but in August, preseason at seven o'clock, what would you propose to change? Well, it, the weather is a factor. Uh, still in late August, and we had a game last week, Calexico and Palo Verde, uh, which the kickoff was at 7.30. It, it seemed it, the atmosphere was a little more relaxed. The sun was down on the horizon, and I think the romanticism of Friday Night Lights was, was in the air, you know? Well, not only that, it allows the fans to, to get to the game in time instead of rushing, you know, uh, and uh, before, I remember when I played in, in the 60s, and prior to that, the night games were played at 8 o'clock at night. And you didn't start till late September. Right. So, right after know, Labor Day. After Labor Day. And so when I, was, when I was coaching, it was at 7.30, and then up about 20 years ago, they decided to play them at 7 o'clock. But again, the games were played in mid-September, which was okay. It's, it's kind of warm up here, but we do what we have to do. And as we get set for the... Well, it's a beautiful night. The wind won't be a factor, yet the Hopeville Vikings like to keep the ball on the ground. It's ball control run, running a power offense out of the power eye while Imperial runs a spread. Tonight's game is brought to you by the El Central Police Department, dedicated to serve our community through partnerships, professionalism, and uncompromising excellence. Quality of life, protection, and service is our commitment. 
and by Burgers and Beer for the best burgers in town. If you can't make it to the game, come watch VSN's Game of the Week at Burgers and Beer, located at 260 North Imperial Avenue. By the Brawley Police Foundation. Join the Brawley Police Foundation to support a safe community through partnership with the police. Our goals include canine support, technology, youth programs, and crime prevention. Follow us at Brawley Police Foundation for more. And by Driscoll's, serving the Imperial Valley since 1979, and they take great pride in the years of experience and quality of custom silk screens, embroidery, and letterman jackets. Stop by their location at 1470 West State in Al Centro. And by South Cali Air. South Cali Air stocks, installs, and services York and day and night models. Our technicians will fit your home or business with a custom solution to meet your unique means. And by Grosso's, an Imperial Valley tradition since 1955, family-owned and operated, located at 1902 West Main in El Centro. Order in or order to go for that uh, Italian dining experience. Would you all please rise to your feet? Your well, John, hands on your heart. public address announcer Mike Goodsell, former mayor of the city of Hopeville, is now inviting everybody to recognize and honor the flag of the United States with a playing of the national anthem. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to VSN, your Valley Sports Network, your source for Imperial Valley Sports, Bulldog Media 2023, as we're here at Burger Field on a Thursday night for the second week of high school action as the Hopeville Vikings entertaining the visiting Imperial Tigers, the Imperial Tigers in all white uniforms with red numbers, red helmets, the Vikings wearing their traditional Kelly green uniforms and gold numbers and gold helmets like the Green Bay Packers. And we now welcome the voice of choice, your friend and mine, Johnny Moe, John Moreno-Brown. Thank you, Vic. I'd like to send a shout out to all my buddies out at Knuckle Draggers, watching the game out there, enjoying this beautiful weather and shooting some good snooker. I uh, hope you guys are having fun. We'll see you after the game. That's Knuckle Draggers. And a special shout out to all of them, John, on behalf of Bulldog Media and VSN. And we're getting set for the kickoff here. Kicking off for the Tigers, jo Joel Robles. And back to receive for the Vikings is number four, Tito Gray. And number 80. We don't have his num we don't have his name out here, but number five as well, and that is Andre Estrada. It's a nice end over end kick, and it'll go into the end zone where the Vikings will take over. First and ten at their own twenty yard line. So offensively, the Vikings will start out with Bryce McScaglia. At quarterback, he'll be joined in the backfield in a power eye 
with um, Gavin Garcia, their leading rusher last week with 80 yards on 16 carries. He'll also be joined by number six, Hector Sanchez. The tight ends are Drew Knight and Duke Strom. The center is Maddox Toten. The guards are Sebastian Duarte and Smith Hilficker. The Carlos Cancillo, the 300-pound tackle, along with Colt Brischke. First and 10 at the 20, Bryce Buscaglia giving it to Griffin Garcia. Is brought down Griffin Garcia on the by number 52 for the Tigers. And that's Levi Mincher. He'll pick up a yard. So that Coach David Shaw of the Tigers expecting big things from Mincher this season. Pass dump, Go ahead, John. Dump pass here to the near flat. And it's caught by number five, Andre Estrada. He'll pick up four. Pushed out of bounds by number seven, Julian Jimenez. One, one of their strong safeties. He kind of plays like a rover position as we... Third down and six for the Vikings. Buscaglia out of the shotgun. Takes it to Griffin. Rolls out left side, shoots it over. Passes caught by number five. That is Andre Estrada picking up a whole bunch of yardage that time and taking it to about the 48-yard line. First down for Hopeville. Move those chains. Well, it's the element of surprise, John, as Jason Turner likes to keep it close to the vest. He likes to keep the ball on the, on the ground, pounded, if you will, three yards in a cloud of dust, running the power eye formation that was emphasized during John McKay's era at the USC at Tailback U in the 60s. Griffin Garcia takes the ball, picks up uh, about 9-10. May get a first down. They'll spot it inside the 50 at the 49. They'll give him a first down, so they'll move the change. That's two first downs in a row. First and 10, Hopeville. 10-33 remaining here in the first quarter. No score in the ball game if he just joined us, ladies and gentlemen. Griffin off tackle. Picks up three. And Garcia's moving that ball. Defensively inside, the Tigers go with defensive lineman number 66, Jose Apodaca, a senior, along with Maximus Alvarez, number 64, number 52, Levi Mincher, and number 62, Jordan Malik. Second, second and seven for the Vikings. Option number six, the ball carrier. That is Hector Sanchez. Hector Sanchez Not much there. Sanchez also contributed on the ground last week in their 22 to zero victory over the Southwest Eagles with a fourth quarter touchdown run from the three yard line, extending the Vikings lead to 20 to zero. Third and seven for Hopeville. Two receivers split to the near side. Sanchez in the backfield. Buscagli has time, has to get rid of it. And attempts to shoot it to Hector Sanchez, but Andre Estrada thought it was for him. Yeah, two receivers in the same area. Estrada running a button hook and, and Sanchez, a flare coming out of the backfield. Forced out of the pocket was Buscaglia. And so he threw the ball in their area. There was some confusion as who the pass was intended for. And Buscalia also doubles as the punter for the Vikings, will now stand inside his own 40 as he gets ready for the Maddox Toten snap from center. Jaden Wilson inside his 10 yard line. Good snap. Nice end over end punt. Jaden picks it up at the 12 but is brought down hard by number nine and number 11. Number nine is Landon Prather. And Jaden Castro. So the Landon Imperial Prather. Tigers will take it at the 15 yard line. So the Hopeville Vikings uh, aren't able to generate much offense after their two opening first 
first down drives that got him inside the uh, 45 yard line. And as a result, the Imperial D Tiger defense stiffened up and uh, they were able to uh, prevail. So now we'll go with Jaden Ayala at quarterback. He'll be joining the backfield with Joel Via Campos. Joel Via Campos wearing jersey number 36, uh, playing from the fullback position. Split out to the far side is Jared Nixon. Via Campos will take the handoff. And brought down immediately by number 24 for the Vikings, and that was Griffin Garcia. Defensively, they'll go with Martin with Martin Torres, Buscaglia, Andre Estrada, Duke Strom, Landon Prather, Fermin Velarde, Jaden Castro, Andres Fregoso, Griffin Garcia, Maddox Toten, and Smith Hilficker. Ayala out of the shotgun. Hands it off to Joel. Number seven, Julian Jimenez. And he'll pick up a couple, take it to the 20. It'll bring up a third and five. So the Tigers back in their own 20 yard line. And they're substituting freely, spreading out the offense with double doubles. Ayala out of the shotgun. Dropping back, looking to the right. A little overthrown, pass intended for number four, Jaden Wilson. That was Jaden Wilson in for the injured Gio Robles, who suffered a torn ACL. And as a result, Wilson getting the start. So the Tigers will be three and out here with 8.23 remaining here in the first quarter as we get set for the punt by Joel Robles, a senior. Number 10 is back to receive. That's Fermin Velarde. He'll touch it, will have to fall on it. Fermin Velarde tried to make a difficult catch. So, they throw two footballs at the ref. Uh, they want him to see if he could juggle them. Anyway, they... So, good field position for the Vikings here, their second series of play. That was a real common defensive back drill in the 60s, John. <laughs> throw two footballs at the same time. You got to catch one. It's a 50-50 chance. First and 10 at the 44. Buscaglia. Now under center. Griffin Garcia will go to the right. Met immediately at the line of scrimmage by number 36, Joel Campos. Well, oh, Joel Villa Campos. They'll bring it to the uh, 47. So a second and about seven for the Vikings. In the first quarter, no score. A little under eight minutes to go. Scaglia has decided to get under center now. Coming out of the eye formation. Power eye. Griffin Garcia running hard. Looks like Jose Apodaca was in on the stop. Trying to oh, run behind the blocking of tight end Drew Knight and left tackle Colt Brischke. But Apodaca would have none of that as Jordan Malik also assisting on the play. Still third, still seven yards to go with a third and seven. Just shy of the midfield. Buscaglia, number six, the ball carrier, lowers his shoulder. That's Hector Sanchez. And he was met head on by Bo Zinn, number 28, there from his cornerback position. 
and not until he was able to pick up a first down. So that's the third, third first down of the ball game for the Hopeville Vikings with 640 remaining here in the first quarter. No score in the ball game. This is the second offensive series for the Vikings as they cross midfield. They're in Tiger territory at the 45 yard line. Going left to right on your television screen. Sanchez with a handoff. We'll take it to the numbers Thank right you. at the 40, 39, 40, 41 yard line. Tackled by Joel Campos Villa or Villa Campos with Zinn also assisting on the play. So the, the Vikings in this first quarter have really shown determination by moving the ball on the ground and in the air. Well, we have a good crowd, John, for Thursday night. The, El Centro, the excuse me, the Imperial side of the bleachers is, is uh, almost at capacity. The Imperial faithful are here. 22, Brandon Terrell. So Braden Terrell, or Terrell, With that carry, just shy of the first down marker, it'll be third and a short two yards for a first down, the ball at the 38-yard line of the Imperial Tigers. So the Hopeville Vikings opened up the game, mixing the pass with the run, and now they've stayed strictly on the ground. Let's see if, uh, if Bryce Buscaglia Passes out of the shotgun for out of the uh, I formation. So number five, Sebastian Duarte, out of the ball game. And number fifty nine. We don't have a a name for him. I'm sure he does though. They're going to call a timeout, and we'll be back oh, yeah. with more in a minute okay. on the Valley Sports Network. Reducing energy use during the summer is more important than ever. This summer, IID encourages you to do your part by setting your thermostat to 78 degrees or higher, avoiding the use of large appliances between 4 and 9 p.m., and turning off all unnecessary lighting. But there's more. IID provides a number of summer energy-saving opportunities to help you make the most of your energy savings efforts. Check out our tips and energy-saving guides at IID.com. Let's work together to stay cool and save energy this summer. InterCare, since 1970. When it comes to health care, InterCare is here to help with locations throughout the Imperial Valley. InterCare, improving the health and wellness of the community. Marianne Valenzuela so welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's a third down and a short two for the Vikings inside Tiger territory. Buscaglia out of the power eye with a handoff to Sanchez. And in there on the stop, number 36 for the Tigers. That's Joel Campos. Oh, Joel Villa Campos. Running behind the blocking of Carlos Cancillo and Sebastián Duarte. 4.40 to go, first quarter, no score, fourth and short for the Vikings. The ball resting at the 36-yard line. They need to get to the 35 for first down. Joe Apodaca, Jr., playing the nose guard position, number 66, for the Tigers. Sanchez, looks like he got that first down. Making the stop, number 18, Darian Romo. For the Tigers, along with number 55, Danny Esquives. So the Tigers have a lot of newcomers as they lost a lot of seniors from last year's team that went eight and four. They were quarter finalists for the uh, Imperial Tigers in Division Three. First and ten for the Vikes at the Tiger 34. Back to pass, Buscaglia looking for a receiver. Intended for number seven. That was Duke Strong, broken up by number one of the Tigers, Brandon Felix. Or Brandon Felix. Which do you prefer, John? Felix. So a second and ten. Well, it's a nice little breeze coming in tonight. Beautiful night here in Hopeville. 
small town atmosphere. Even though it's a Thursday, John, it feels like a Friday night. Friday night lights. Thursday, Thursday has a good feel, but Friday has a good, a better feel. That's what I like about you, John. Always a positive thinker. <laughs> Second and ten. Optimism Bus just brimming. Buscaglia out of the shotgun, handed off to Sanchez, who's barreling his way right off tackle there. Griffin Garcia. And, oh, that's Griffin Garcia. He's back in the game. Griffin Garcia picks up seven. He's a hard-running fullback, John, for the Hopeville Vikings Third down. as they run the power eye. Buscaglia gets the play call on the sidelines from head coach, J head coach Jason Turner, who's had a lot of success, successful seasons under his, during his tenure here at Hopeville High. A sweep to this side. But the ball taken away. And that was Joel Campos, Joel Villa Campos, from his linebacking position, able to strip Buscaglia of the football. And so that turnover will give the Tigers, with 3.03 remaining in the first quarter, their second possession of the ball at their own 33 yard line. So a good break for the Tigers and stopping the Hopeville Vikings on that drive. All these games are always close between the Hopeville Vikings and the Imperial Tigers, John, as they're usually evenly matched. And whoever has the ball last, many times will determine the outcome of the ball game, who will win. You know, and they like to say that the Bell game is, goes back many years, but this game goes back even further. Those, this game goes back probably 1912, 19... 11, old school. And number seven, the ball carrier, that is Julian Jimenez for the Tigers. He was brought down immediately by number 52, Max Toten, from his uh, defensive line position. Two forty going to go in this first quarter, no score. So Jaden Ayala, the quarterback, very talented, has number four, Jaden Wilson, split out to the far side. Near side, you have Jared Nixon. And that overthrown pass intended for number four for the Tigers, Jaden Wilson. Couldn't reach up to it. Third down. So a third now, third and 10. So the Tigers like to run a spread offense where they like to get four to five receivers as time is called. And we'll be back with more in a minute on the Valley Sports Network. Marianne Valenzuela Fenley is your State Farm Insurance agent in the Imperial Valley. And like a good neighbor, she's located at 528 G Street in Brawley. Call State Farm agent Marianne Valenzuela Fenley at 760-344-0447 for your home, auto, and life insurance. Whether you're looking to purchase or sell, your next home awaits. Give the Dom team a call. With over 50 years of experience and over 100 years in the Imperial Valley, Andy and Doug can help you find the right home at the right price fast. Visit us online at www.thedomteam.com and let Andrew and Doug find the perfect home for you. Call today, 760-337-8600. Back here at Burger Stadium in Hoteville, California, the carrot capital of the world, Imperial and Hoteville, the Desert Classic here in the... Make the dive, shoot it out to the right side. Incomplete pass intended for number 36, Joel Via Campos. Couldn't get there, and so it's a fourth down. And that pass fell incomplete as it was intended out in the flat area. So once again, the Tigers will be punting, and number 11, Joel Robles, comes in. He'll be standing inside his own 15 yard line. 
Who do we have back there to receive for the Vikings? Looks like number 10, Fermin Velarde. And we've got about two minutes, 18 seconds in the first quarter left. Low snap, but he gets it off end over end. Velarde picking it up at the 35, breaking a tackle. And brought down by number seven, Julian Jimenez. Excellent punt coverage by the displayed by the Imperial Tigers. So the Vikings once again will have excellent field position to start their third drive of the first quarter. No score in the ball game. They'll take over at their own 40, 46 yard line on that short punt return by Velarde. Quarterbacking for the Vikings will still be Bryce Biscaglia. Offensively left to right, they go with Colt Brischke, Smith Hilficker, Maddox Toten is the center. The right side is Sebastian Duarte and Carlos Cancillo. The tight ends are Strom and Knight. Out of the power eye. And looks like they drew the Tigers offsides. And the Vikings will pick up five. And they'll cross midfield to the Tiger 49. So that improves their field position at the 49. Straight down. Sanchez. Dive. And brought down from behind by number 36, Joel Campos. We're seeing a lot of him today. That's right, John. He's a former MVP player of the year as a sophomore for the Imperial Tigers. He's now a senior, and yet uh, he played on a very talented defensive unit of the Imperial Tigers last year. Didn't get lost in all their play because there was a lot of gang tackling, but they shared the wealth. And now he's expected to be a leader, and which he's showing tonight here in the first quarter as he's in on almost every play. Time is called, and we'll be back with more in a minute on the Valley Sports Network. Ojeda Industries is here to offer solutions with exceptional products and services for all your agricultural, industrial, and power transmission needs. It's Ojeda Industries, hydraulic repair service in Brawley at 1698 Jones Street. Call us at Two minutes to go, first quarter. The Vikings have a first and 10 at the Tiger 39 yard line. Buscaglia out of the power eye, handing off to Sanchez. Again, picking up two. So Sanchez, we're seeing a lot of Hector Sanchez taking the ball right up the middle, their workhorse. Joshua, Joshua Keyes, a senior, making the stop there on that play. Tonight's game is brought to you by Havens Landscape. Havens and Sons Trucking is located at 603 East Main in El Centro, specializing in gravel, rock, and stone for all your landscaping needs. And by the IID, your local public water and energy company. Out of the I formation, Sanchez, right side. Just barreling his way, cross 35 to the 34 yard line. Picking up about four yards. In to make the stop for the uh, Tigers. Number 55, Danny Esquives, a linebacker, goes at 240. So the Tigers have a lot of players on the defensive side of the ball that are 220 plus. Third down for the Vikings. Griffin Garcia 
Helmet to helmet to number 18 for the Tigers. Just Darian Romo. There's a penalty flag. Let's see what the call is by Fred Ramsey. block against the Vikings. So we have 32 seconds remaining here in the third quarter, John. It's a first and five, you think, or third and five. But the penalty goes against the Vikings. And they're moving it back. So it'll be a third and long, about 13 yards. They're inside the 45 at the 40. Two yard line. You think they'll air it out here, John, or uh, play conservative and try to improve their field position? Well, they've, they've been successful in the air. They've only thrown a few passes, but those that they've thrown have been caught. And that was in their opening drive here early in the first quarter. The clock is ticking with about 10 seconds to go, first quarter. Buscaglia, reverse, fumble. Picked up by the Tigers. All the way back going is number... Danny Esquivez. Esquivez with a 1.4 seconds to go in the first quarter. That's another turnover that stymied the Hopeville offense. And as a result, the turnover allows the Tigers to make their deepest penetration into Viking territory inside the... 40-yard line, the 35-yard line. And it looked like Jose Apodaca put that hit on that, caused that fumble. So the Tigers with the best field position of the quarter <laughs> with a minute, for, with, a, with a second, point four seconds to go. The Tigers driving east here, the Vikings defending the eastern goal. But number seven, Verda. Stand straight up, the running back. Julian Jimenez, and that ends the first quarter of play. We are still scoreless. And we'll be back with more in a minute on the Valley Sports Network. Imperial Flying Service, taking care of the entire Imperial Valley with all your aviation fuel needs. Imperial Flying Service is a proud supporter of our U.S. military, the aviation community, and all Imperial Valley communities. As we start the second quarter of play, the Tigers are now going left to right with uh, quarterback Jaden Ayala out of the shotgun with trips to the left side. Fakes the dive, throws the pass. It's caught over the middle. Picks up a first down, number two, the ball carrier, Jaden Lopez. Pickup of 13. Ayala hands it off to number, number seven, seven, Julian Jimenez. Jimenez. Runs up the heart of the Viking defense. Lowering that, his shoulders. That's being defended by Maddox Toten and Smith Hilficker, along with Sebastian Cosio. Jimenez again, right side. Takes it inside the 10. Looks like a first down for the Tigers. So inside the 10, the Imperial Tigers looking to score. So the Tigers counting on Apodaca and Mincher 
to open up those holes. Ayala. Oh, this time, nothing there. Well, it was mishandled. Num number 15 for the, ta for the Vikings. That's Andres Fregoso. Andres Fregoso breaking up the play before it was allowed to develop as Julian Jimenez had trouble receiving the handoff from Ayala. And as a result, the Tiger offense loses yardage on that play. It'll be second and 12. The second quarter just underway, no score in the ball game. But the Tigers inside the red zone. Ayala looking for a receiver. Finds one, number 24, caught on a fade. That is number 24, that Jared is Nixon. Nixon. Touchdown Imperial. And there was Sal Boxer Carrillo quick to raise his arms to signal a touchdown as he's the line judge. And we'll get set for the Joel Robles point after attempt. Beautiful pass by Ayala. That sure was. Snap, set, kick. Was the kick good, John? I couldn't see. Let's check it out. We're checking it on instant replay here with Jose Alejos. I think it was wide left. Wide left. So... 10.26 to go in the second quarter. The Tigers are up 6-0. So Imperial Flying Service, taking care of the entire Imperial Valley with all your aviation fuel needs. Proud supporter of the U.S. military and Imperial Valley communities. By Prime Hydration with bold first question flavors to help you refresh, replenish, and refuel. Prime is a perfect boost for any endeavor. We're confident you'll love it. Brought to you by Alfred's Distributing. By Heart Insurance, your full insurance agency offering customized protection throughout California and Arizona. We have a heart for personal service. So the kick returner is uh, Tito Gray. Or is that Jaden Prather? Squip kick picked up, but it was, he downed it. As he, number 24, Griffin Garcia. And they'll take it right about the 30 yard line, or no, at the 25. So the Hopeville Vikings have enjoyed some mixed success with a pass in the run, getting inside Tiger territory, but their offense has been uh, misfiring with their turnovers and the last turnover on a fumble recovery was turned into six points by the Imperial Tigers. Hector Sanchez with the ball. Not much there, he'll pick up two. And we'd like to send a shout out to our friend Sergio Rubio, who's watching this game, I believe in San Diego. He's an assistant principal down in the South Bay. And he's watching his nephew, Jared Nixon. Sergio, hope you're doing well over there, brother. Well, Sergio, I hope you enjoyed that touchdown reception by Jared Nixon in the corner of the end zone off a pass from Jaden Ayala to give the Imperial Tigers not only first blood, but six points to take a 6-0 lead here. Bad snap. Buscaglia could not get a handle on it. And it'll be a loss of two yards. So the Tigers recover again. Deep inside Viking territory. This time the ball at the Viking 25-yard line. So the offense of the Vikings isn't giving their defense any favors as they're giving Imperial excellent field position. For Johnny's Burritos, thank you for being a part of our community, and we look forward to serving you and your family for many years to come. Johnny's Burritos since 1963. And when it comes to health care, InterCare is here to help you with locations throughout the Imperial Valley. 
inner care, providing, improving the health and wellness of our community. First and 10 for the Imperial Tigers as they recover that fumble. Ayala, Jimenez finds some room behind the blocking of the three men up front. He'll pick up four. That was Apodaca, Alvarez, and Malik providing that blocking up front. Ethan Fierro wearing jersey number 70, also providing his heft there and stability on the line. Second and six. Keep an eye out for number 18, the tight end, Damian Romo, John. That's Julian Jimenez. Takes it to the 20. It'll bring up a third and very short for the Tigers again in the red zone. So two 270-pounders two locking it up right there. Number 66, Apodaca for the Tigers. And number 73 for the Vikings, Seth, excuse me, that's his brother, Smith Hilfiker. Ayala trying to draw him off sides, but there was some flinching. Well, he drew his own man, number seven. He man his offsides. So false start against the Tigers. They're moving back to the 25. Saw the ball on the 25. Eight and a half minutes to go, second quarter. It'll be third and eight. 8.25 remaining here in the third, second quarter. 6-0 Imperial. Ayala out of the gun, looking left side. Jared Nixon is there. And a and pass interference Pass call. interference by number one, Martin Martin. Torres. So that'll give the Tigers a first down. Got him right here, John. And they're going to move it up, give the Tigers a good so, field position. So what is it, half the distance to the goal line or the spot of the foul? I would have assumed that Will Torres would give you the right answer. Okay, let's call New York. <laughs> Get him on the line. Okay, John, we only have three calls for calling a friend. So it'll be a first down, but it will be spotted at the 12. So the Nixon already with one touchdown pass reception to his credit in this ball game. The only score in the game. Hand off to Jimenez, Jimenez, number seven. Not much there. For the Tigers. Defensively, number 11, Jaden Castro in to make the stop from his cornerback position for the Vikings. The Vikings have to put up their best defensive stance here if they want to reduce the momentum from the Tigers. So... Ayala out of the shotgun, and Jimenez in the backfield looking for Nixon. No, excuse me, number 36, Joel Villacampos. Wide open, but the pass overthrown. Nixon. As Jaden Ayala exhibiting his strong rifle arm there with that bullet pass out into the flat, one of the most difficult passes to make with accuracy, and as a result, it falls incomplete, making it a third and nine. So time is called. Tonight's game is brought to you by Ivy Welding and Mechanical, industrial welding contractor serving the geothermal and all industrial facilities in the Imperial Valley. Ivy Welding is a proud sponsor of Valley Sports Network. Give Fred a call at 483-WELD. And IVC is the number one community college in the nation. A 2023 Aspen Prize winner. Congratulations, Imperial Valley College. JJ's Tire, 24-hour road service, new tire sales, and service located at 199 Main Street. 
Give JJ a call at 760-455-3109. And by Casbros, we are a design shop that offers trophies and awards, custom t-shirts, embroidery, signs, and banners. Check us out on the web. That's Casbros. And by La Fonda Bar and Grill. Experience the vibrant flavors of Mexico at La Fonda Bar and Grill from sizzling carne asada to mouth-watering enchiladas located at 1950 South 4th Street in El Centro. Tigers spreading it out. Trips left. Ayala, shotgun. Quick pass over the middle. Pass is caught. And number two, Jaden Lopez to the one-yard line bringing up a first and goal for the Tigers. You know, John, there's a lot of familiar names here. A lot of Jadens, a lot of Landons. There's a Sonny, a couple of Giovannis. Yeah, but there's no Bill, George, and Vic. You got it. <laughs> first and goal. Ayala out of the shotgun. Coming up close now under center. Decides to push it forward on a keeper. And gets it in for a touchdown, Imperial Tigers. So the Tigers successful uh, as a result of that turnover deep inside Hopeville territory, and they capitalize on Hopeville's misfortune with 6.42 remaining here in the second quarter to punch across that second touchdown, raising the score to 12-0. to they may attempt a two-point conversion. I think that's what they're going to do, Vic. 6.42 to go, second quarter. So the Tigers operating out of the spread formation. In shotgun formation is the quarterback Ayala. To his left is Jimenez. Fakes the dive. Rolling out left side, looking for a receiver. In uh, intercepted, I should say, as he was looking for number two. For the Tigers, Jaden Lopez. Jaden Lopez. Well, Jaden Lopez was open behind the secondary, but the pass underthrown, and as a result, the hopeful Vikings alertly picking it off and denying the opportunity for the Tigers to score two. Tonight's game is brought to you by RDO. Minimize your downtime and protect your equipment investment. Stop by our Imperial headquarters located at 3275. Highway 86, nothing runs like a deer. And by the Original Town Pump Steakhouse for the best steaks in Imperial Valley. Visit the Original Town Pump located in Westmoreland. Fine family dining at its best. Call us for reservations at 344-3663. As we're getting set for the kickoff by number 11, Joel Robles. Well, John, offensively, the Vikings have had measured success, but they've been their own worst enemy once they get inside Tiger territory with uh, the misfortune of their miscues. And the Tigers have capitalized on these last two uh, fumble recoveries to uh, score. Yep. And as a result, they lead 12-0. to They haven't been successful on their point-after attempts, so the Vikings still have an opportunity to uh, get back into this ball game Hopefully, with 6.42 remaining here in the second quarter, they can uh, amount a drive and sustain it to get into the end zone to take at least some points in on the scoreboard into halftime. What say you? Well, I think you're absolutely right, and they hand it off to Sanchez, going right side, picking up five yards. The Vikings got a good offensive attack, but they really they made some mistakes, which have cost them. And it's a sign of a good team that capitalizes on turnovers under the tutelage and direction of David Shaw, the uh, Imperial Tiger coach, who's also a graduate of Imperial High School. Looks like Sanchez one more time. About a yard on running, the in, running into the gut of the Tiger defense, led by Bo Zinn, along with number 36, Joel Villa Campos.
Vikings decide to keep it on the ground. They're not finding much there. Hector Sanchez. So a punting situation for the Vikings. The ball at their own 23 yard line. Bryce Bascaglia also doubles as the team punter. But it's preseason. They may go for it. Looks like they are. Bascaglia and Sanchez in the backfield. Unless he shifts into punt poor formation to try to draw the Tigers. Timeout is called. Tonight's game is brought to you by Esquet Realty. Discover your dream home with Mark Esquet Realty. Our dedicated team is committed to finding the perfect property for you. We make real estate dreams a reality. Trust Mark Esquet Realty for all your property needs. Call Mark at 357-9707, the mark of excellence. And by El Centro PD, who are dedicated to serve our community through partnerships, professionalism, and uncompromising excellence. By Burgers and Beer, the best burgers in town at 260 North Imperial Avenue in El Centro. Come watch the VSN Game of the Week at Burgers and Beer. By La Fonda Rest Bar and Grill, a fiesta of flavor in every bite. Experience the vibrant taste of Mexico with our authentic dishes crafted from the freshest ingredients. From sizzling carne asada to mouth-watering enchiladas, satisfy your cravings with La Fonda, an El Centro tradition at 1950 South 4th Street. By Arctic Air Conditioning and Heating, we know that having the right people on the job is just as important as choosing the best equipment. Our York trained professionals provide you with top quality equipment, skilled installation, and expert analysis of your comfort needs. Arctic Air Conditioning. So fourth and short for the Vikings at their own 23. Rolling out. Buscaglia looking, looking, but decides to keep it. He couldn't find anybody and is running out of bounds at, a, at the 31. And good enough for a first down for Holtville. So the Vikings go for it on a daring play called by Jason Turner as they were deep in their own territory at their own 23-yard line. But hopefully it'll be a momentum changer as the Vikings trying to get a spark here offensively with 441 remaining. Sanchez running into trouble. Sanchez. And tackled immediately by number 32. That's Joshua Keyes, a senior. Levi Mincher making the first contact to slow him up. Second and nine, Buscaglia. Griffin Garcia now back there. Rolls out right. Shoots it, passes, caught. And bringing him hard, hard to bring him down. And that is number 20 for the Vikings. That's that was Brooke Burnett. Where's he been? Or excuse me, Brock Burnett. At first and 10, right at the 45. Buscagli coming this way. Let's it go. Burnett again, crossing midfield. Man handled by number seven, Julian Jimenez. But he'll pick up eight yards as he crosses midfield, bringing a second and two to go. Well, Buscaglia showing his versatility. He's adept at passing, either going rolling to his right or rolling to his left. There's Griffin Garcia. And he gets the first down. Uh, they may call for a measurement. He's right at the first down stick. Let's see what Cel Carrillo does. Will he make it? Yes, he gives him a first down. So first and 10, Holtville. 322 to go, for second quarter. So the Vikings with a first and 10 at the Tiger 45. Buscaglia spreads it out. Twins on the right. Little option to Griffin Garcia. Lowers his shoulders and picks up another eight, nine yards. Would you call that a little pitch or a little shovel pass? Looked like a pitch. Anyway, whatever it was, it worked. Right, yeah. And it picked up some uh, positive yardage. 
on that first down play as now they move inside the 40 to the 36 yard line. It'll be second and short for the Vikings, but more importantly, they have the Tiger defense on their heels. Two and a half minutes to go, second quarter for the Vikings. Fakes the dive, rolling out, Buscagde looking, 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 and he'll decide to just run out of bounds. Picking up a couple yards. Tonight's game is brought to you by Letterman and Bros. Have you earned your varsity letter? We'll get your Letterman jacket started today at Letterman and Bros. Call Dan at 693-5034. Letterman and Bros. And by Reach Medical Response Service, Donnie Wharton reminds you that when seconds count, you can depend on Reach Medical Transportation Service. Buscaglia rolling right, keeping, and just pounds his way to the 25, or the 27. Making the stop number four, Jaden Wilson, from his cornerback position, had to play the read because he also had receiving a receiver coverage as his responsibility. And Bryce Buscaglia looking, shoots it, passes, caught to number 22, Brand, Braden Terrell, and a first down, excuse me, 32. 22, yes, first and 10. So number 22, Braden Terrell taking the ball to the Tiger 22 yard line. Bad snap to Buscaglia. He'll have to fall on it and lose quite a few yards. Tonight's game is brought to you by Sanders Incorporated Architecture and Engineering. Experience innovative design with Jimmy Sanders Architecture and Engineering from dream to reality. We craft spaces that inspire. Elevate your projects with our expertise today. Sanders Incorporated is a proud supporter of Imperial Valley football and we wish all our Imperial Valley schools a safe and successful season. By Keystone HR, unlock your company's potential with Keystone HR, the trusted partner for all your human resources needs. From talent acquisition to employment development, we're here to streamline your HR processes and elevate your workforce. Choose Keystone HR and build a stronger, more productive future for your business. Call us at 357-2929. By Sunbelt Rentals, need equipment for your next project? Look to the experts at Sunbelt Rentals. We've got the tools you need, whether it's big or small, from construction to do-it-yourself. We've got you covered. Fast, reliable, and affordable rentals. Go see Oscar Gostellum at Sunbelt Rentals, your partner for success at 2396 Highway 86. Call us today or visit sunbeltrentals.com. So a second and about 22. Right, right now the Vikings the have been for their the own, Vikings. They've been their own worst enemy but here in the been, first half. But they've been moving the ball, Vic. Well, moving the ball between the 30s, <laughs> but that doesn't score points. That's right, but they just got to keep with that momentum going deep. And intended for number 10, Fermin Velarde, but deflected there, but it looks like number 22. Well, see, the trajectory that passed, John, even though he had, he needed to get more air under it and throw it higher so that it floats over the defender. A high spiral because the receiver was behind, Velarde was behind the defensive back, Eddie Martinez. Yep, deflected it. So a third and 22. The ball at the 37. But that's why you play the preseason, John, to see what works and what doesn't. Absolutely. And what changes need to be made. Buscaglia going deep again. And this time deflected by Brandon Felix. Well, we got a flag on the play, roughing the passer, possibly. Pass intended for Velarde once again. Now, see, John, this is what also, as you develop your passing game, you've got to know when to hold and when to fold. In Sounds other, like a song, Vic. In other words, when do you throw a <laughs> bullet? When do you throw? When do you loft the ball? When when do you throw a fade? Etc. That's right. You never count your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. <laughs> so that will give the Hopeville Vikings good field position, with, but with a fourth and nine. With 124 remaining. 
here in the first half. The Vikings find themselves down by a score of 12 to zero to the visiting Tigers of Imperial. The ball at the uh, Tiger 22 yard line, make it the 21. <coughs> oh, they got the first down, first and 10. Yeah, roughing the passer. Automatic. Who's... The flags are flying. False start. So false start against the, the Vikings. If the Vikings score here, they're building that momentum. Well, it's a third and 15. You're inside your own 30, John. Uh, there's first and 15 inside your own 30. There's a limited, the coaches already have four or five plays that they'll call that are either run or pass. And that they've looks been like they're on. looking for a receiver to the far side, Vic. Touchdown. Yes, touchdown in Hopeville. That is number 37. Trying to catch his number 87. We don't have him. But he scored for the Vikings. And I don't think our PA announcer has him either. That's right. But give credit to number 87 he for putting have, six points on the board. He must have just driven into town. Congratulations. Somebody send the name up here for number 87. We don't have him on our list. As the Vikings are now going for the point after. They're going to give it a two-point conversion try. Buscaglia under center. Griffin Garcia gets the two-point conversion. And now 8 to 12 with a minute 11 seconds to go in the first half. We'll be back with more in a minute on the Valley Sports Network. Grosso's, an Imperial Valley tradition since 1955. Family owned and operated. Located at 1902 West Main Street, El Centro. Grosso's is open Wednesday through Sunday at 5 p.m. Order to go or come in for the Italian dining experience. Well, back here at Burger Field in Hauteville. Well, we'd like to give credit where credit's due. Number 87 is Lionel Zamora, number 87, who made that outstanding catch in the end zone of the, for the touchdown to put the Vikings on the board. And the two-point conversion was successful. And so now we have a score of 12 to 8 in favor of the Tigers as we get set for the kickoff coming from Fermin Velarde. And it'll be returned by number four for the Tigers. That is Jaden Wilson. Jaden Wilson. We've got a few Jadens out there. Want to make sure we got the last name. Well, there's one Jaden that I like, and that's Jaden Carrillo. Uh, okay. <laughs> You can find him at Home Depot, but he's not a sponsor, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> so a first and 10 at the 34 for the Tigers, down by four with a minute to go in the second quarter. And the Tigers will put... Ayala and Jimenez in the backfield. Trips left. Fakes the dive, looking over the middle, passes. 
incomplete and intended for Via Campos. So the, that'll stop the clock with under a minute to go and bring up a second and 10. Here we go, second and 10 for the Tigers. Looking for pass. Number four overthrows. Number four, that is Jaden Wilson. Wilson. Again, guarded closely by number 11, Jaden Castro. There's a second Jaden. So the Tigers haven't been able to connect in the first two plays of this, what could be the last series of the second quarter. But every time they throw the ball, if it goes incomplete, it'll stop the clock. And now we have 54 seconds. 12-8 ball game, favor of the Tigers. This time Ayala will keep it. And is brought down hard by number 73, the big fella. That's Hilfiker. Smith Hilfiker. But it'll give the Tigers a first down. And it looks like we have someone shaken up on the field. It looks like a Viking there. Number 15 for the Hopeville Vikings. That's Andres Fregoso, a junior, 160-pounder. And he's having a tough time. Tonight's game is brought to you by Marianne Valenzuela Family State Farm Insurance. Your trusted partner for protection and peace of mind. With personalized coverage and 24-7 customer service, we're here to help you when, the, when life throws you unexpected. Whether it's auto, home, or life, State Farm has your back. Get a quote today and experience confidence with Marianne Valenzuela Fenley State Farm. By Letterman and Bros. For all your custom letter jack Letterman jacket needs serving Yuma and Imperial Valley, call Letterman and Bros. at 693-5034. By CRNR Incorporated. Are penalties piling up in your trash area? Team up with CRNR and Environmental Services. Your local MVPs in trash and recycling. Just like your favorite football squad, we're all about teamwork. Tackle waste problems head on with our reliable collection services that will keep our community in winning shape. <coughs> Jimenez. Still on his feet. Takes it across midfield. Gets a first down and more. And will... They'll spot it at the 39 going in. Well, 26 seconds remaining here as the Vikings were playing prevent defense. Look how far off the line of scrimmage their defensive linemen are. And uh, the Tigers capitalizing on that. Going into the air again. And looks like Nixon was the intended receiver. And the ball slightly overthrown to the streaking Nixon down the far sideline. Nixon, 6'5", 190 pound receiver. We have a penalty flag there. What is it, too many players on the field for the Vikings? I don't know, Vic, I gotta take my shoes off to count to 12. Uh, <laughs> count those toes. There you go, Rowena. John has. He's looking for the six-fingered man. <laughs> Inigo Montoya. They're still, they're counting him. Do they got 12 out there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12? I think they do. No? Three, four, five, six, One seven, of them eight, isn't uh, 87, is it, John? Number, Zamora? So that'll move up five yards for the Tigers. Now the Tigers in the past used to have an outstanding kicking game. Remember Santiago Trinidad? As I mentioned, one Wait of them, he was an outstanding place kicker as well as a wide receiver and quarterback, just a, a versatile athlete. But he was a college-level college, college level place kicker. 
15 yarder Vic. It's a first and 10 at the 25 for the Tigers. Trips left. He's looking in that direction. And it looks like there may have been contact, but. Well, it was off the hands of the, the intended receiver. The pass was right there as he was running a slant over the middle. And that's number two, Jaden Lopez. So it'll be a second Se and two, or second and ten, excuse me. Ten seconds to go, second quarter. Look for Nixon. Ayala finds Via Campos in the tip drill, incomplete. So. There it looks like they may go for a field goal. So we have Joel Robles coming in, number 11. He's a senior, a southpaw. He kicks from the left side. 41-yard field goal attempt for the Tigers. Does he have the leg? We'll find out. Forty-one yard attempt. He has the accuracy, and he does. And that forty-one yard attempt is good. With two seconds to go, the score now fifteen eight in favor of the Tigers. So is it the Tigers got their two point conversion back plus one. Experience excellence with Ivy Welding and Mechanical. Our skilled team delivers top-notch welding and mechanical solutions for your industrial needs, from precision welding to machinery maintenance. We've got you covered. Choose Ivy Welding and Mechanical for quality craftsmanship and unmatched reliability. Ivy Welding and Mechanical. By Que Pasa Calexico. Listen to the Que Pasa Calexico podcast for candid conversations with many of Imperial Valley personalities. Jose Alejos has been hosting the podcast for over six years. That's Que Pasa, Calexico, by Johnny's Burritos, founded by Johnny and Ana Maria Palomino in 63, serving homemade Mexican and American food located in Imperial and Brawley. By Jesus Cachua Escobar, Supervisor District 1, a proud sponsor of VSN. Wishes all the Valley teams a great season. By CRNR Incorporated, the face of a greener generation. Squib goes out of bounds at the 30. And uh, let's see what they can do in two seconds. Well, they'll probably take a knee, John, and uh, just go into the locker room satisfied with a 15 to 8 score. They're down by one touchdown and an extra point, seven points, if you're doing the math. But much like we expected when you get two strong opponents and longtime opponents imperial and hopeville meeting on the football field whether it's at imperial or in hopeville you're going to be entertained on some good classic football longtime rivals imperial tigers and hopeville vikings and they'll probably take a knee buscaglia will end the quarter 15 to 8 and we'll be back with more in a minute on the Valley Sports Network. South Cali Air Conditioning, the number one York dealer in the Imperial Valley. Contact them today for all your AC needs. Call them at 760-556-9901. Your publicly owned Imperial Irrigation District 
proudly delivers low-cost, reliable energy service to its customers in the Imperial and Coachella Valleys. When compared to other power providers, IID's residential, commercial, and governmental customers all save up to 50% on their monthly energy bills. That's because IID is committed to more than just delivering power. IID is committed to you. IID, where customers always come first. We just moved, so there's millions of dahlias in bloom over nine acres. When we started, we grew a quarter of an acre. Now I'm taking on new products on the right. We always dreamed of having this property, so I want to make my yard look as beautiful as largemouth bass. Yep. We've got tons of them, don't we, buddy? There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. How will you make the most of yours? Visit us online at rdoequipment.com or contact your local RDO for in-stock availability. At Burgers and Beer, our customers are like family. Let's hear what a few of them have to say about us. We're here at Burgers and Beer with the best burgers in town. We get to sit together and enjoy the great food. I like from Burgers and Beer is in the lemonade. For the fresh iced tea, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. This is wonderful, very fast, very efficient. I love the great food and family environment. I love burgers and the customer service. So come and see us and find out for yourself at Burgers and Beer. We have created our own drink company. <laughs> the fastest growing sports drink in history. We want pride! We want pride! Ladies and gentlemen, we got pride! The monkey has pride! This season, we are hydrated! The official sports drink of the UFC! It's pride! <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Reducing energy use during the summer is more important than ever. This summer, IID encourages you to do your part by setting your thermostat to 78 degrees or higher, avoiding the use of large appliances between 4 and 9 p.m., and turning off all unnecessary lighting. But there's more. IID provides a number of summer energy-saving opportunities to help you make the most of your energy savings efforts. Check out our tips and energy-saving guides at IID.com. Let's work together to stay cool and save energy this summer. InterCare, since 1970. When it comes to health care, InterCare is here to help with locations throughout the Imperial Valley. InterCare, improving the health and wellness of the community. Marianne Valenzuela Fenley is your State Farm Insurance agent in the Imperial Valley. And like a good neighbor, she's located at 528 G Street in Brawley. Call State Farm agent Marianne Valenzuela Fenley at 760-344-0447 for your home, auto, and life insurance. Whether you're looking to purchase or sell, your next home awaits. Give the Dom team a call. With over 50 years of experience and over 100 years in the Imperial Valley, Andy and Doug can help you find the right home at the right price fast. 
visit us online at www.thedomteam.com and let Andrew and Doug find the perfect home for you. Call today, 760-337-8600. Ojeda Industries is here to offer solutions with exceptional products and services for all your agricultural, industrial, and power transmission needs. It's Ojeda Industries, hydraulic repair service in Brawley at 1698 Jones Street. Call us at 760-623-7299. Imperial Flying Service, taking care of the entire Imperial Valley with all your aviation fuel needs. Imperial Flying Service is a proud supporter of our U.S. military, the aviation community, and all Imperial Valley communities. an Imperial Valley tradition since 1955. Family owned and operated. Located at 1902 West Main Street, El Centro. Grosso's is open Wednesday through Sunday at 5 p.m. Order to go or come in for the Italian dining experience. conditioning the number one york dealer in the imperial valley contact them today for all your ac needs call them at publicly owned Imperial Irrigation District proudly delivers low-cost, reliable energy service to its customers in the Imperial and Coachella Valleys. When compared to other power providers, IID's residential, commercial, and governmental customers all save up to 50% on their monthly energy bills. That's because IID is committed to more than just delivering power. IID is committed to you. IID, where customers always come first. We just moved, so there's millions of people. Dahlia's in bloom, over nine acres. When we started, we grew a quarter of an acre. Now I'm taking on new products on the regular. We always dreamed of having this property, so. I want to make my yard look as beautiful as largemouth bass. Yep. We've got tons of them, don't we, buddy? There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. How will you make the most of yours? Visit us online at rdoequipment.com or contact your local RDO for in-stock availability. At Burgers and Beer, our customers are like family. Let's hear what a few of them have to say about us. 
We're here at Burgers and Beer with the best burgers in town. We get to sit together and enjoy the great food. I like from Burgers and Beer is in the lemonade. For the fresh iced tea, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It is wonderful, very fast, very efficient. I love the great food and family environment. I love the burgers and the customer service. So come and see us and find out for yourself at Burgers and Beer. We have created our own drink company. <laughs> the fastest growing sports drink in history. We will fight! We will fight! Ladies and gentlemen, we The rookie has prime! This season, we are hydrated! The official sports drink of the UFC! It's time! <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Burger Field as we celebrate two quarters of play here on the second week of the 2023 campaign as the Imperial Tigers raced out to a 12-0 lead on the Hopeville Vikings before the Vikings were able to dent the scoreboard on a touchdown pass from Bryce Bexcaglia, and then the two-point conversion was successful to narrow the margin to 12-8, but in the closing seconds of the first half, a 42-yard field goal from Joel Robles extended the Tiger advantage to 15-8, to a seven-point margin as we get set for the second half. This is Vic Carrillo ready to welcome back the voice of choice, the real deal, your friend and mine, Johnny Moe, John Moreno-Brown. Thank you, Vic. We're starting the third quarter here with... Uh close game a margin of seven points in favor of the tigers but it could have been the other way around as hopeville couldn't capitalize on some of the successes that they had in the first half so we'll see what the second half brings for the vikings as the home team tonight against the storied rivalry the imperial tigers well john it's always a close game and other than those three turnovers by the Vikings, as they were driving towards pay dirt in the first half, they had excellent field position, but mishandling the ball, excellent tackling by the Tigers might have been a cause of that. And as a result, the Tigers capitalized twice on excellent field position gifted to them by the Viking offense. And uh, under the le leadership of quarterback Jaden Ayala and the running of Joel Campos and the receiving of Jared Nixon, they were able to get 15 points on the board. And don't forget that three-point field goal by Joel Robles, 42 yards, and he made it look routine. Yeah, it was split in the uprights with an end-over-end kick. It looked beautiful. So they know they can do that, so that's an extra added advantage when you've got a field goal kicker that once you're at the 25 or inside the 30, You've got that advantage. Well, you know, the Hopeville Vikings showed a lot of balance off their power eye running and passing the ball. They opened up the game under Jason Turner's uh, direction with Bascaglia at quarterback, passing right away, moving the ball up the field. They picked up two first downs on their first drive before they turned the ball over. And as you say, they were marching between the 30s but that doesn't put points on the board. The Tigers had, a, had twice had short fields to deal with on recovering those fumbles or those takeaways, and they were able to put points on the board. So the Vikings, after winning 22 to zero last week against the Southwest Eagles, find themselves after two quarters of play on the short end of a 15 to eight score. What do you see, John, in the next two quarters of play by both the Hopeville Vikings and the Imperial Tigers. Well, 
I think we're going to see some passing because I think they they started doing that later on in the in the second quarter. They did a lot of running initially, but Hopeville found some success, and so did the Tigers. So that may be a difference in the second half, a tale of two cities, that we'll see maybe uh, more points will be scored with a ball in the air. End over end kick. Number 18, the ball carrier. That's Darian Romo, a junior, one of the up. Sorry, 12, 12. Number 12, that's Sonny Beltran. Only a sophomore. So taking it to the 43-yard line, and the Tigers will take over first and 10. So they'll start the second half on offense. The ball at their own 43-yard line. They'll be going left to right, attacking the western goal line as the Hopeville Vikings here at Burger Field defending their turf, and they'll be defending the western end zone. Wilson split out to the near side. Ayala. Hands it off, and it's fumbled, recovered by Fermín Velarde as the handoff was going to number two. Jaden López. So, a turnaround is fair play, John, is now the Tigers can't seem to find the handle on the football, and the Hopeville Vikings immediately uh, recover, and now they're having an opportunity with excellent field position at the Tiger 36-yard line. Bus Buscagli under center. Sanchez, right side. Pick, pick it up five yards, uh, six yards, taking it to the 30-yard line. Running behind the blocking of Sebastian Duarte and Carlos Can Cancillo, along with tight end Duke Strom trying to open up that running game for the I formation that's being employed by the Vikings. Hector Sanchez, this time met at the line of scrimmage. That was Via Campos along with Bo Zinn and number 52 for the Tigers. That being Levi Mincher. Third and four. Inside the 30. As we start the third quarter of play. Buscagli now to the shotgun. Sanchez in there. Roland looking. Pass is caught, number 20, Brock Burnett. So Brock Burnett coming out of the backfield there to make that reception. He caught it off his shoe tops. Otherwise, he might have been able to pick up extra yardage because his momentum took him to the ground there. But an excellent tool in their arsenal. Fourth and to very come back short. Later. Buscaglia rolling out, looking that first down. Quick toss. Gets the first down, number 20. Burnett, once again, making that reception. And the chains are moving for the Hopeville Vikings. Well, the Vikings were the hurry up offense, John, but they're in attack mode. They're playing aggressively on offense here as uh, you can see the confidence in the quarterback, Buscaglia. In the red zone, Buscaglia, Sanchez. And nothing there for Sanchez. Is stopped by Jared Wilson. No, I'm sorry, Julian Jimenez. Julian Jimenez right there up the middle, closing the gap, making that tackle for no gain. So it'll be second and 10. Buscaglia and Sanchez. Buscaglia coming this way and will pass the line of scrimmage. Keeps Take it one. to about the 12. Well, he was looking for number five, Andre Estrada. Uh, Estrada either needed to commit himself, either he's going to go long into the end zone or curl to the sideline instead of just standing there waving 
in between the two defenders. And so that indecision forced Buscaglia to keep the ball and just run out of bounds. And they're checking on the Tiger. Looks like he has a cramp. And that's pretty common in this uh, beginning of the season when it's very humid and hot. And John, just on my personal opinion, if I was an offensive coordinator, that's why I don't like running rollouts to the short side of the field between the hash mark and the sideline because it doesn't give you a lot of room to operate. And it was evidence there that the play wasn't developing. The quarterback had no choice but to run out of bounds rather than taking a loss and being tackled. But we see that often enough where they do roll out and head toward the short side of the field. Well, these, uh, they're highly skilled athletes. They're high octane offenses and uh, they have plays designed, it's like a chess match, to offset whatever the defensive coordinator tries to put up against them. Third and eight for Hauteville at the 12. There goes Bryce Buscaglia lowering his shoulder taking it inside the 10 to about the 9. So it'll be fourth down and about 5 yards. And as I look at our screen, John, I see a handsome gentleman over there standing on the 2-yard line on the far side wearing a tie. That looks like our good friend Joe Apodaca. That is Joe Apodaca. Buscaglia looking for receiver. Caught! In the end zone, number five, that is Andres Estrada. And he was on the ground when he caught that football. But more importantly, John, he was in the end zone to make that reception and a touchdown for the Vikings. As so, Buscaglia rolls out right, fakes, and then shoots it. And there he is. And so the Vikings cut into that eight-point lead enjoyed by the Tigers at the half. It's now 15 to 14 as the uh, Viking uh, Brain Trust will have to decide do we go for two and take the lead or do we go for the tie? There's plenty of time remaining. If you just joined us, it's only 8 19 in the third quarter as the second half just got underway. The Vikings marching downfield. I take it the Vikings recovering a fumble on the first offensive play of the Tigers who took the Second half kickoff, and with excellent field position at the from the Tiger 36. Another pass over the middle, but looked like there may have been some interference that was intended for number two. Drew Knight, and he was open. Excellent defensive play, but there was contact, so they'll run that play again. And half the distance. And, it'll be a first down. and that may change the play call, John. Instead of, instead of trying to score from three yards out, now you're a yard and a half. And with a power running of, of Extra, Sanchez uh -huh. or Griffin Garcia. Sanchez will get the nod this time. Sanchez. And he doesn't get it. He is short. So... 8.15 to go, third quarter. 15, 14. Imperial will be back with more in a minute on the Valley Sports Network. Well, here we're back again at Burger Stadium in Hopeville. Pooch kick picked up 
by number 12 for the Tigers. That is Sammy Sonny Beltran. And he'll take it up to the 45. Is there a flag? Holding. Holding against the Tigers. So that'll nullify any gain on that return. So this is storage rivalry. 14-15 is the score. The well, John, Tigers Calexico, holding on. Calexico High School and some of the other high schools opened their doors in 1912. Were Hopeville and Imperial the first high schools to open up? I believe so. Imperial more than likely was the first one just a, maybe a few years before Calexico and Al Centro was up there. So it was basically Hopeville, Al Centro, Imperial, Calexico. And I have food for thought for our historians. How were the school colors selected among the high schools and their mascots? That's a good question. I, I, I don't know. I know Calexico was gold and white up until 1943 or so when Coach Bogle from uh, Oklahoma decided to add crimson, as now we call it garnet, in Calexico. But the others, I don't know. Pass over the right side. Caught. First down. Nixon, Nixon will first down. give a first down to the Tigers and take it to the 46. Nixon, a talented 6-4 or 6-5, 195-pound receiver, has a touchdown reception to his credit already in this ball game. It's a first and 10 for the Tigers as they move the ball to their own 43-yard line. They're going left to right on your screen. The Vikings defending the Western goal here at Burger Field. Pass to the left flat, intended for Nixon. Covering on the play, number 21, that was Jackson Irungaray. Irungaray or Irunguray. I think I believe that's a Basque name, mm -hmm. last name. A lot of Basque live here in Hopeville, as well as Swiss. Julian Jimenez pounds his way up the middle, picks up five, will take it to the 47. And another cramp there on one of the players. Angel Padilla making the stop along with number 52 for the Vikings, that being Maddox Toten. Our penalties piling up in your trash area? Team up with CRNR Environmental Services, your local MVPs in trash and recycling, just like your favorite football squad. We're all about teamwork. Tackle waste problems head on with our reliable collection services that will keep your community in winning shape. CRNR Incorporated, the face of a greener generation by Marcus Kerr. Discover your dream home with Marcus Kerr. Realty, our dedicated team is committed to finding the perfect property for you. From cozy condos to luxurious estates, we make real estate dreams a reality. Trust Marcus Kerr Realty for all your property needs. Go see Mark. Call him at 357-9707, the mark of excellence. And by Burgers and Beer, and stay tuned. We'll have the Burgers and Beer player of the game immediately following this live stream. So third and seven or six for the Tigers just shy of midfield. Ayala out of the shotgun. Looking to the left. Pass is caught. Via Campos gets a first down crossing midfield. Takes it to the 40 yard line going in. So a first down for the Tigers in the third quarter, seven minutes to go. And it seems like it's getting humider. Oh, what a quick 
recovery there by number 18, Handington via Campos and number 18 Ramos Romo Darian Romo quick to grab that ball get a first down and take it to the 27 yard line well number 10 Fermin Velarde is the one that stuck his helmet in there and jarred the ball loose but it, the carom was picked up and he thought the play was dead while the uh, Tigers were advancing the ball up the field inside the 30-yard line down to the 27. So the Tigers with excellent field position with 625 remaining here in the third quarter. They lead by one, 15 to 14, on a very sultry night here this August 24th on the 23 campaign, second week of the season. Ayala looking over the middle. Dump pass, caught by Romo again taking it to the nine yard eight yard line first and goal for the Tigers number 22 Braden Terrell making the stop there but not until they were able to pick up another first down it'll be first and goal inside the 10 via Campos Takes it to the right side, inside the five. Andres Fregoso making the stop there. Trying to run off tackle. Tonight's game is brought to you by La Fonda Bar and Grill. A fiesta of flavor in every bite. Experience the vibrant taste of Mexico with our authentic dishes crafted from the freshest ingredients. From sizzling carne asada to mouth-watering enchiladas, satisfy your cravings with La Fonda. Spice up your dining experience today. La Fonda, an El Centro tradition located at 1950 South 4th Street. By the Imperial County Health Department, the mission of the Imperial County Health Department is to promote, protect, and support the health of the people, the environment, in our communities. Visit our website, icphd.org. Subscribe to our VSN YouTube channel and follow VSN on Instagram. By Arctic Air Conditioning. We wish we had some Arctic Air Conditioning right now. And they know that having the right people on the job is just as important as choosing the best equipment. Our York trained professionals provide you with top quality equipment, skilled installation, and an expert analysis of your comfort needs. Contact Arctic Air, Con air Conditioning and Heating at 352-8855 by Letterman & Bro. Have you earned your varsity letter? We'll get your Letterman jacket started today. Lettermanandbros.com. Call Dan at 693-5034. And Donnie Wharton reminds you that when seconds count, you can depend on REACH Medical Transportation Service. Sanders Incorporated Architecture and Engineering. Experience innovative design with Jimmy Sanders Architecture and Engineering. From dream to reality, we craft spaces that inspire. Elevate your projects with our expertise today. Sanders Incorporated is a proud supporter of Imperial Valley football, and we wish all our Imperial Valley schools a safe and successful season. By Keystone HR, unlock your company's potential with Keystone HR, the trusted partner for all your human resource needs. From talent acquisition to employee development. We're here to streamline your HR processes and elevate, elevate your workforce. Choose Keystone HR and build a stronger, more productive future for your business. Call us at 357-2929. Well, we'd like to say that was a VSN television timeout, but basically it's for the benefit of the players as they're all cramping up in this 96 degree weather. It was 107 earlier in the day as the pass attempt from... Via Campos in the left. Touchdown, Imperial. So that was Via Campos running out into the flat and Ayala with a bullet there hitting him between the three and the six for a, an Imperial touchdown, giving him a seven-point advantage as we await the extra point attempt from Joel Robles. Soccer-style kicker from the south side. 
And it's good. So a 22-14 Imperial Tiger lead. And we'll be back with more in a minute on the Valley Sports Network. Reducing energy use during the summer is more important than ever. This summer, IID encourages you to do your part by setting your thermostat to 78 degrees or higher, avoiding the use of large appliances between 4 and 9 p.m., and turning off all unnecessary lighting. But there's more. IID provides a number of summer energy-saving opportunities to help you make the most of your energy savings efforts. Check out our tips and energy-saving guides at IID.com. Let's work together to stay cool and save energy this summer. InterCare, since 1970. When it comes to health care, InterCare is here to help with locations throughout the Imperial Valley. InterCare, improving the health and wellness of the community. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. After the Viacampo score, we get set for the kickoff from Joel Robles. Tigers leading 21 to 14, 22 to 14. End over end. It'll go into the end zone. The Vikings will take it at the 20. So 5-17 remaining here in the third quarter, 22 to 14, an eight point cushion enjoyed by the Tigers of Imperial. Plenty of time on the clock here in the third quarter, let alone in the second half for the Vikings. Some of the key players for the Vikings, though they're running backs and receivers, experiencing cramps as they've been making their runs from the gridiron to the sidelines to have their legs stretched. A straight dive play up the middle. Buscaglia hands it off to number 22. That was Terrell. And he'll pick up nine. So Braden Terrell or Terrell. I think it's Terrell, Vic. Okay. <laughs> you were the English major. Double R's and double L's. False start. Hodeville nullifying that gain. So a second and six from inside the 25. Looks like Sanchez one time to the right. Back to the original game. That was number 77 for the Tigers making that stop. Ezra Favila. As David Shaw, as well as Jason Turner, substituting freely with their limited squad size. Another cramp being experienced by a Hopeville Viking. <coughs> Excuse me. So the sultry weather, John, really make taking its toll on the uh, play of the players, but not the quality of the play, as when they're able to execute, uh, the fans here have been entertained to the play that's been displayed by both squads representing Hopeville and Imperial High Schools. And a long storied rivalry between the Hopeville Vikings and the Imperial Tigers going back over a hundred years. The Tigers in their all white uniforms with red numbers, solid red helmets. The Vikings in their Kelly green uniforms with gold trim and gold numbers. Bright School bus yellow helmets with the green and white stripes down the center like the Green Bay Packers. They used to have the H on the side of the helmets like Green Bay would have their GB, but now they have 
an image of a Viking on the sides of their helmets. Buscaglia rolling out this way and runs out of bounds. But more importantly, he picks up that first down to keep this drive alive with 4-16 remaining here in the third quarter. Imperial 22, Hopeville 14, if you just joined us here on a Thursday night as the Tigers visiting the Hopeville Vikings. Penalty flag against Hopeville. What was the call, Vic? I didn't see it. I was busy looking at the scoreboard. Holding. 10-yard penalty. So that nullifies the run and the first down. So it'll be third and 12. 4.16 to go, third quarter. The ball back at Hopeville's 18. And Buscaglia spreading it out. Rolling right. Airs it out on a beautiful spiral to number 87, Vic. Zamora, Lionel Zamora. And a little overthrown on that one. So it'll bring up now a third or a fourth down. Well, Zamora was slightly open on that play as he had a step on the defender. And so that's, if you want to look at a positive, at a missed opportunity, the fact that he was open, the ball was well thrown, just a little beyond the reach of the speedy Zamora. Buscaglia now to punt. And good thing they got a flag because that would have been, well, they would have had it at the 20, so touchback. Well, Maddox Toten with that strong wrist as a long snapper. Another illegal substitution. So that puts him either even further back. Oh, John, I feel like one of those sailing vessels stranded at sea, now feeling a wind. Let's raise those sails. All right. I'm going to stand up. God, we got a breeze now. Thank God, moving the bugs out. Vikings will take the safety, give up the two points rather than the field position. Well, that was a surprise. He had plenty of time to kick. I guess he anticipated a stronger rush from the from the Tigers. And give him two points, so 24 to 14. The Tigers. So we'll get have, the ball back too. And they'll have a receive a free kick from the Vikings. Tonight's game is brought to you by Imperial Irrigation District. Remember what Dippy Duck says, never swim in canals and always conserve energy during peak hours. Well, Dippy Duck didn't say conserve energy, but he said stay out of canals. We just added that for all you folks. And what if Fernando Valenzuela, the Dodgers stay? Don't be a fool, stay in school. Uh, <laughs> and by Grosso's, an Imperial Valley tradition since 1955, family owned and operated, located at 1902 West Main in El Centro. Order to go or come in for the Italian dining experience. Go see our buddy Hank at Grosso's. So the free kick by the Vikings. And they're kicking it back at their 20. A punt kick. And it'll hit number four. And he still can hang on. He'll pick it up. And try to turn it up the field. That is Jaden Wilson. Jaden Wilson filling in for the injured Giovanni Robles who suffered a torn ACL 
and uh, that could be a season-ending surgery. We wish him a speedy recovery, a very talented individual, and hopefully he'll be able to get back on the hardwoods for the great Imperial basketball team. He was a standout in basketball as well. So with 3.48 remaining in the third quarter. Gio Robles with ties to Calexico with both his parents. Graduated Calexico High School. Bad snap to Ayala. And he did the right thing to fall on it, but sacrificing yardage. So it's still now a second and about 16. There you go, John. That's what you need to get around Calexico High School, a Viking mobile. <laughs> the yard marker says first down. The clock, the scoreboard says third down. A pass caught Nixon. Left flat will cross the 15 to the about the uh, the 25 to about the 27. Nixon split out to the left, ran a 10 and out, and picked up some valuable yardage there. The pass was a little underthrown, but Nixon, the athletic and talented individual that he is, was able to turn that into a positive and step out of bounds, pick up to give the Tigers now a third down with about four yards to go. Looks like some movement, but not enough to call a, a flag. But timeout is called with 2.21 to go third quarter. 24 to 14, we'll be back with more in a minute on the Valley Sports Network. Marianne Valenzuela Fenley is your State Farm Insurance agent in the Imperial Valley. And like a good neighbor, she's located at 528 G Street in Brawley. Call State Farm agent Marianne Valenzuela Fenley at 760-344-0447 for your home, auto, and life insurance. Whether you're looking to purchase or sell, your next home awaits. Give the Dom team a call. With over 50 years of experience and over 100 years in the Imperial Valley, and the Back here at Hauteville, Imperial has the ball, third and short. Ayala decides to keep, gets a first down. I'm sorry, it was Jimenez. On a wildcat there, uh, John. Exactly. So gets that first down for the Tigers. Running at, behind the... Tiger interior, Apodaca, Alvarez, Malik, and Fierro as they opened up a wide running lane for Ayala to get that first down yardage. He menace again. And every time he picks the ball, you can count that he gets a minimum of three yards. He got four on that one, second and six. Fermin Velarde making that tackle, but it comes at a cost as he comes limping out of that pile with another cramp, but he remains in the ball game. I would throw a pass in his direction. Coming out of the spread, trips right. Ayala looking to the left. There's Nixon and takes it up across midfield. A pickup of 16 yards for the Tigers. Nixon running a 10 and out into the flat area, making the catch, sidestepping a defender, and advancing the ball another six yards into Tiger, excuse me, into Viking territory. The ball at their 43 yard line of Hopeville, as once again the Tigers are on the move. Less than a minute remaining here in the third quarter, the clock running, Imperial 24, Hopeville 14. Jimenez. 
Not much there on that handoff. So they're racing here in the waning seconds of the third quarter. So John, how do you prevent cramps here at the high school level? That's a good question. I um, salt, water. It, your muscles tighten up. I, I don't. I'm not sure. Bananas, potassium. We, we, well, perhaps, but we need to consult a PE teacher or a coach. 36, Via Campos. First down, a pickup of 12 to the 30-yard line. Mr. Swango in junior high would have told us, just keep running. Uh, <laughs> the end of the third quarter, 24-14. Imperial will be back with more in a minute on the Valley Sports Network. Whether you're looking to purchase or sell, your next home awaits. Give the Dom team a call. With over 50 years of experience and over 100 years in the Imperial Valley, Andy and Doug can help you find the right home at the right price fast. Visit us online at www.thedomteam.com and let Andrew and Doug find the perfect home for you. Call today, 760-337-8600. Ojeda Industries is here to offer solutions with exceptional products and services for all your agricultural, industrial, and power transmission needs. It's Ojeda Industries, hydraulic repair service in Brawley at 1698 Jones Street. Call us at Imperial with the ball. Right up the middle, number seven, Jimenez. First down will take it inside the 20 to the 16 yard line of Hauteville. And once again, the Tigers are knocking on the door as we start the fourth quarter in this desert classic, Imperial and Hauteville. So one John conditioning is a factor here early here in the preseason. Two, the team with a lead has that energy. Let's see how the defense responds on this play. Ayala out of the gun, spreading out the offense. Jimenez in the backfield. Jimenez will take the handoff to the 14 yard line. Pick up of two. So second and eight. And I feel for these players because I remember back in the day getting those cramps during conditioning week, what they used to call hell week. And they give you salt tablets. And even into the preseason. And, and uh, the mosquitoes. And they'd come on when you least expect it, and man. Fakes the dive over the middle. Number four caught, touchdown, Imperial. <laughs> that is Jaden Wilson running a pattern. Running a post pattern. Into the seat, into the, yes. Split out to the right side from his wide receiver position. And he ran a post pattern and a beautifully thrown pass by Jaden Ayala, the quarterback, to extend the Tiger lead to 30 to 14, a 16 point advantage as we get set once again for the Joel Robles point after attempt. Number five, Jaden Ayala, the quarterback with a hold. Apodaca was a long snapper. And that's a a good extra point, 31 to 14, in favor of the Tigers. And we'll be back with more in a minute on the Valley Sports Network. Imperial Flying Service, taking care 
of the entire Imperial Valley with all your aviation fuel needs. Imperial Flying Service is a proud supporter of our U.S. military, the aviation community, and all Imperial Valley communities. Imperial kicking off to the Hopeville Vikings here in the fourth quarter. End over end. And they'll let it go to the end zone. So the Vikings will have a shot coming out at the 20-yard line. Tonight's game is brought to you by La Fonda Bar and Grill, a fiesta of flavor in every bite. Experience the vibrant taste of Mexico with our authentic dishes crafted from the freshest ingredients from sizzling carne asada to mouth-watering enchiladas. Satisfy your cravings with La Fonda. Spice up your dining experience today. La Fonda in El Centro tradition. And by Air Arctic Air Conditioning and Heating. Having the right people on the job is just as important as having the best equipment. That's Arctic Air Conditioning and Heating. Another handoff. Sanchez, no, number 25, we've got some substitutes in there. Landon Killam will pick up a yard, make it a second and nine. Buscagli out of the gun. Screen and manhandled by Viacampo, number 20, the pass complete to Brock Burnett. Excellent Penalty tackle flag. by former defensive player of the year, Joel Viacampos, who's been in on numerous defensive plays here throughout the game, as well as contributing on the offensive end. Looks like it's going against Hauteville. No? Personal foul. Personal foul is going against Imperial. Usually when they speak to the team getting the... But what was it, John? It was, it, was it the tackle? Probably unnecessary roughness. Well, he manhandled him, but that's football. Well, a lot of changes in the sport. Fort, first and 10 at the 45 for the Vikings. These little tosses that they, they don't block that one lineman coming in. And that one went incomplete. And that was number 55, Danny Esquivez, applying that pressure from his outside linebacking position, yeah. kind of like a blitz. Right, but they don't block him. You know, they. He, I guess he cut. There's a second time it happened. They let him come in, and they... Toss the ball over in Buscaglia rolling, airs it out into traffic, almost intercepted. And that is Via Campos, who's all over the place tonight. He is, John. He's a ball hawk. If he's not defending the run, he's defending the pass. Good lateral movement. Timeout is called. Tonight's game is brought to you by Sanders Art Architecture and Engineering. Experience innovative design with Jimmy Sanders. Architecture and engineering from dream to reality. We craft spaces that inspire. Elevate your projects with our expertise today. Sanders Incorporated is a proud supporter of Imperial Valley football, and we wish all our Imperial Valley schools a safe and successful season. By Keystone HR. Unlock your company's potential with Keystone HR. 
the trusted partner for all your human resource needs. From talent acquisition to employee development, we're here to streamline your HR processes and elevate your workforce. Choose Keystone HR and build a stronger, more productive future for your business. Call us at 357-2929. By Sunbelt Rentals. Need equipment for your next project? Look to the experts at Sunbelt Rentals. From construction to do-yourself, we've got you covered. Sunbelt Rentals at 2396 Highway 86. Call us or visit us at sunbeltrentals.com. Subscribe to our VSN YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram. Buscaglia airing it out again. And it is intercepted. Or did it hit the ground? It hit. Uh, almost intercepted by number one, Brandon Felix. Pass intended for Drew Knight. So it'll bring up a second and 10, 9.13 to go in this football game. Fourth and 10, excuse me. Well, it's the preseason, John. A loss is like a win for the Holtville Vikings on the power ratings, correct? Yes. Because Hopeville Division Four, the yeah, the four double A now. Uh, or five, four or five? I think it's five double A. And Imperial's a Division Three school. Right. Buscaglia going deep and intercepted. At he was intended for number seventeen, number twenty-eight caught the ball. Number seventeen is. We don't have his number, but it was, 28. It was 87. It was some. It was Samora of of Hopeville. Okay, 87. And Elijah Guerrero on that interception. So if anything's going to go wrong, it is. So Hopeville turns the ball over. The Tigers get the ball deep in their territory at the 15 yard line so a first and 10 for the vikings i'm well, sorry for I, the I, tigers what, yeah what i like john is that Bascaglia is on the money that pass could have been caught either way by the right. receiver it was a great defensive play but you know Bascaglia is a on talented a, quarterback on a fourth down and 10 had it not been caught over the middle, Via Campos breaks a tackle, takes it to the 31. Another first and 10 for Imperial. So the Tigers still aren't folding their tents. They're keeping their offense going out there with passing on the first down play. 8.40 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Imperial 31, Hopeville 14. First down at the Tiger 31-yard line. A little breathing room. And a little breeze behind the quarterback, Ayala. Fakes it to Jimenez and shoots it to Jaden Lopez. Pass complete to number two, Jaden Lopez. And he'll pick up six yards. Six yards on that pass play. As he made the catch, he hit the ground. Excellent reception. Losing the opportunity to run for additional yardage. Split out to the near side, we have the talented Nixon, as you have triples to the near side, John. It's Jimenez maneuvering his way up the middle, getting a first down, taking it to the 45. Looks like a pickup of 10 yards. Well, Jimenez has shown he has the ability to run between the tackles and get positive yardage. The versatile Joel Campos has been involved in not only running plays, but passing plays, and has played a stellar defensive game on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah. 
Keep it on the ground with Jimenez. And picking up another 10 yards. Or nine. Velarde once again making the stop, but also comes up cramping on the play. And we have another Viking on the field on his back, also experiencing leg cramps. The Town Pump Steakhouse open Tuesday through Saturday. Call us at 344-3663 for reservations. Located in Westmoreland, the Town Pump serves up a delicious and savory steak and lobster. Come by and experience a valley tradition over 50 years. Prime hydration with bold, thirst-quenching flavors to help you refresh, replenish, and refuel. Prime is a perfect boost for any endeavor. Brought to you by Alfred's Distributing. By CRNR Incorporated. Are penalties piling up in your trash area? Team up with CRNR Environmental Services. Your local MVPs in trash and recycling. Just like your favorite football squad, we're all about teamwork. Tackle waste problems head on with our reliable collection services that'll keep your community in winning shape. CRNR Incorporated, the face of of a greener generation. Subscribe to VSN YouTube channel and follow VSN on Instagram. By Heart Insurance, over 70 years, Heart Insurance has provided insurance solutions to the residents of Brawley, El Centro, and the surrounding areas. We have a heart for insurance at our new location in Brawley on K Street. By Ivy Welding, experience Excellence with Ivy Welding and Mechanical. Our skilled team delivers top-notch welding and mechanical solutions for your industrial needs. From precision welding to machinery maintenance, we've got you covered. Choose Ivy Welding and Mechanical. Ojeda Industries by Tony and Patricia Ojeda serving the Imperial Valley for all your industrial and agricultural needs and hydraulic service and repair. Located in Brawley, 1698 Jones Street. So second and short for the Tigers. Ayala out of the shotgun. He drops the ball, falls on it, and saves what could have been a fumble. 6-18 and counting in the fourth quarter. Tomorrow night, VSN South will be in Calexico to live stream the Calexico Castle Park game. And VSN North will be at Central for the Palm Desert Central game with Will Torres and Coach Swearingen. Third and four. Takes the dive, shoots it over the middle. Via Campos all over, taking it down. Touchdown, Imperial. Via Campos with a pass right up the middle. Nobody around him takes it to the house. A 51 yard touch, touchdown pass and catch and run for, for Joel Via Campos on a beautiful pass on a post pattern from Jaden Ayala. Another score for the duo, and the Tigers now lead 37 to 14. As we get set for the point after. Over the setter, and they're going to stop the play in motion. So here we are. In the fourth quarter, with Imperial, uh, Imperial has a comfortable lead over the rivaled Hopeville Vikings. Well, at one time, John, it was 15 to 14, and Hopeville had the momentum, but Lady Momentum went with the uh, with the humidity. Brawley Police Foundation joined the Brawley Police Foundation to support a safe community through partnerships with police. Our goal. Our goals include canine support, technology, youth programs, and crime prevention. Driscoll's serving the Imperial Valley since 1979. 
We take great pride in the years of experience and quality of custom silk screens, embroidery, and letterman jackets. Stop by our location at 1470 West State in El Centro. South Cali Air. Stocks, installs, and services York and day and night models. Our technicians will fit your home or business with a custom solution to meet your unique needs. That's South Cali Air. And we're getting set for the kickoff from Joel Robles. And who's had kicked it into the end zone the last several times. We'll see if he does that again. Deep end over end. This time it'll be re brought in. Number 15 for the Vikings. Andres Fregoso. So, the Hopeville Vikings got five and a half minutes to see if they can move that ball. The ball is at the 20-yard line. And they're down by a score of 37 to 14. Second game of their season after opening up with a 22 to zero victory at Southwest last Friday. The Tigers traveled up to San Diego to take on West Hills, losing a heartbreaker in the closing seconds of the ball game, 14 to seven. Buscaglia will take it out of the gun. He's gonna air it out. And tip drill almost caught there by number seven, Duke Strom. And that was Bo Zinn. They're breaking up the play, assisted by number one, Brandon Felix. But Strom running a fly pattern down the near sideline, almost came up with that ball. And uh, it would have been a great catch in front of the hometown crowd. So a second and 10 coming up for the Vikes. The ball traveling almost 50 yards in the air. So second and a long 10 for the Vikings. The ball at their own 20 yard line. Landon Kellum in the back. Looks like he pitches it to him. Cuts across the grain. And takes it to the 35. Gets a first and 10 for the Vikings. So Kellum with a fresh pair of legs showing some zip in his run. Buscaglia going way deep. And nobody around him. Number so, two, the intended receiver was about 10, five, Knight. five, seven yards away. So f under five minutes to go. As the Vikings now face with a second and 10 from their own 34 yard line. Buscaglia and Helm in the backfield. Buscaglia looking to the right. Throwing it at will. Taking care of the entire Imperial Valley with all your aviation fuel needs. That's Imperial Flying Service. Proud supporter of our U.S. military and Imperial Valley communities. So the Hauteville Vikings now. Buscaglia rolling left. Airs it out. Pass is caught. Drew Knight, number two. Gets a first down to the 45 of Imperial. Impressive pass by Buscaglia throwing across his body, rolling out to his left and throwing back to his right. Ball at the 45-yard line of Imperial. No huddle offense employed by the Vikings. Yeah. 
Little shovel pass there to Hellam. So London Kellum. Pick up seven yards. Second and three from the 38 yard line. And Hoville going in. Pass, 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 but Buscaglia will just decide to keep it. And he goes out at the 30 yard line. Another first down for Hoville. As you would say in announcer's parlance, move those chains. Move those chains with 3.38 to go in this football game. 31-14, we'll be back with more in a minute on the Valley Sports Network. Brasso's, an Imperial Valley tradition since 1955. Family owned and operated. Located at 1902 West Main Street, El Centro. Grosso's is open Wednesday through Sunday at 5 p.m. Order to go or come in for the Italian dining experience. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Burger Field with 338 remaining. This broadcast is the sole property of VSN, the Valley Sports Network. Any reproduction or rebroadcast without the express written consent of the owners is strictly prohibited. Oval keeps it on the ground with Kellum. And he'll, not much there there, it'll be second and 10. Buscaglia, this time he sacked. And he's brought down by number 18 and number 55. That's Danny Esquivez and Daniel Rom Damian Romo. So a loss of yardage. Darian Romo, excuse me. As we're under three minutes correct. to go. 37-14. Imperial. Low snap, but Buscaglia does something with it. Will it come this way? Airs it out. Intercepted. Number one for the Tigers. That's Brandon Felix. So the Tigers get the ball back at their own territory on a turnover by the Vikings. And two and a half minutes to go. Well, miscues have been the downfall of the Hopeville Vikings. They have a very potent offense here with a run and the pass and some talented skill players in quarterback Buscaglia, Griffin Garcia, who we haven't seen in the second half, along with Hector Sanchez and some of these other players that have come in in their receiving core, like Duke Strom, and, and yet uh, turnovers hurt them in the first half. But once uh, they're able to work out these kinks and overcome these uh, misplays, I think they're going to have a pretty good season. Yeah, I think so. He men is still in there. And he's racking up yards. Picking up eight with uh, two minutes to go. So with under two minutes to play, the score 37, Imperial, Hopeville 14.
And that is Jimenez getting a close to the first down, if not the first down. Picking up four, they'll move the chains. And that would probably be it with a minute to half, a minute and a half to go in this football game. And we've got a player, a couple of players of the game brought to you by Burgers and Beer for the best burgers in town. Go see Burgers and Beer. Watch the VSN game of the week live there. And well, there were many talented players, John, on display here in this second game of the season, but those that stood out in particular were the field general for the Imperial Tigers in his uh, leadership, passing ability, and just directing the offense designed by head coach David Shaw, and that's number five, Jaden Ayala. And then two-way performer, on offense and defense from the running position at fullback as well as playing his linebacker position with a plum and that's number 36 Joel Villa Campos they're the burgers and beer recognized players of the game between the Hopeville Vikings and the Imperial Tigers as it looks like Hope Hopeville will fall to their first defeat of the season by a score of 37 to 14 at the hands of the Imperial Tigers. And we'll be back with more in a minute to close off our show on the Valley Sports Network. South Cali Air Conditioning, the number one York dealer in the Imperial Valley. Contact them today for all your AC needs. Call them at 760-556-9901. Your publicly owned Imperial Irrigation District proudly delivers low-cost, reliable energy service to its customers in the Imperial and Coachella Valleys. When compared to other power providers, IID's residential, commercial, and governmental customers all save up to 50% on their monthly energy bills. That's because IID is committed to more than just delivering power. IID is committed to you. IID, where customers always come first. We just moved, so there's millions of people. Dahlia's in bloom, over nine acres. When we started, we grew a quarter of an acre. Now I'm taking on new products on the regular. We always dreamed of having this property, so. I want to make my yard look as beautiful as largemouth bass. Yep. We've got tons of them, don't we, buddy? There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. How will you make the most of yours? Visit us online at rdoequipment.com or contact your local RDO for in-stock availability. Well, we're here, post-game show for the Imperial Tigers and the Hopeville Vikings with a final score of 37-14 to 14 in favor of the Tigers. We'd like to thank all of you for tuning in us tonight. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors who've made this broadcast possible. Of course, our program director, Will Torres of VSN Sports. Our technician in the booth, Jose Alejos. Our cameraman, Saul Peña. And our cameraman that's not here with us, uh, Panchito Garcia, who will join us next week. And, of course, all of the uh, listening audience, the viewing audience, we thank you very much for tuning us in. Next week we'll be down in uh, – sorry, I th think it's Friday. It's tomorrow. It's only Thursday. But uh, join us tomorrow from the Chocolate Mountains to the Sea of Cortez all along the border on a Friday night when the VSN Sports Network, Valley Sports Network, Victor and I will be in Calexico – live streaming the Calexico Castle Park game and VSN North will with Will Torres and uh, Coach Swearingen will be in El Centro for the El Centro Palm Desert game. Again, tonight's final score, 37 to 14, Imperial, the Desert Classic. For Vic Carrillo, this is John Moreno of Bulldog Media bringing you live coverage of Imperial Valley football and saying good night on VSN, the Valley Sports Network. <laughs>